hot job market, lucrative salaries and promising career opportunities, now is an excellent time to become a data scientist. But what if you're starting from scratch? Fortunately, there are numerous different learning paths available. You can learn skills in the field in a variety of ways from obtaining a college degree to attending boot camps to teaching yourself. Don't know where to begin? In this video, we'll show you how to progress from novice to job ready in the field of data science. Hello everyone and welcome to this detailed video on how to master data science by IntelliPath. Data science is a rapidly growing field that has become increasingly important in the recent years due to the explosion of data and the need to extract insights from it. As more organizations and industries recognize the value of data, the demand for skilled data scientists continues to rise. However, mastering data science requires a combination of technical skills, domain-specific knowledge, and the ability to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies. We will outline a step-by-step -step guide to help aspiring data scientists navigate the complex landscape of data science and develop the skills and expertise needed to excel in this field. We will cover topics such as learning data science fundamentals, gaining practical experience through real-world projects, building a portfolio and more. Whether you're just starting out in data science or looking to take your skills to the next level, this video will provide you with actionable tips and strategies to help you succeed in this exciting and dynamic field. So let us look at the agenda for this video. First, we'll start with what is data science. Then we'll look into who is a data scientist. Then we'll talk about what a data scientist does. Then we'll see how to master data science and what is the demand for data science professionals. And with that, we'll conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So let us begin by understanding what is data science. Data science is a field that involves using scientific methods, processes, algorithms and systems to extract insights and knowledge from structured and unstructured data. Data science combines techniques from statistics, mathematics, computer science and domain specific knowledge to analyze and interpret data, identify patterns and make predictions. The goal of data science is to transform data into actionable insights that can inform business decisions, drive innovation, and solve complex problems. Data science is applied in various fields including healthcare, finance, marketing, engineering, and more. And it plays an important role in the digital transformation of industries and organizations. Now we look at who is a data scientist. A data scientist is a professional who uses scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract insights and knowledge from structured and unstructured data. Data scientists typically have a background in fields such as statistics, mathematics, computer science, or a related discipline, and they use their skills and knowledge to solve complex problems and provide data-driven insights and recommendations to businesses, organizations, and industries. Data scientists are responsible for collecting, processing and analyzing large amounts of data using various tools and technologies. And they work closely with stakeholders to identify business needs and develop solutions. In addition to technical skills, data scientists need to have strong communication, collaboration and problem solving skills to be effective in their roles. So what does a data scientist do? A data scientist is responsible for analyzing large amounts of data using various scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and systems to extract insights and knowledge that could be used to inform business decisions, drive innovation, and solve complex problems. Here are some of the key tasks that a data scientist may perform, starting with data collection and cleaning. Data scientists are responsible for collecting and preparing data for analysis. This includes identifying relevant data sources, cleaning and processing data to remove inconsistencies and errors and transforming data into a format that can be easily analyzed. Second, data exploration and visualization. Data scientists use statistical methods and data visualization tools to explore and analyze data. This includes identifying patterns, trends and relationships in data and using visualization techniques to communicate insights to stakeholders. Third, modeling and analysis. Data scientists develop mathematical models and algorithms to analyze data and make predictions. This includes using machine learning and artificial intelligence techniques to develop predictive models that can be used to inform business decisions. Fourth is deployment and monitoring. Data scientists 
are responsible for deploying models and solutions in production environments and monitoring their performance to ensure that they continue to provide accurate and relevant insights. Finally, communication and collaboration. Data scientists work closely with stakeholders across the organization to identify business needs, communicate findings and recommendations and collaborate on solutions. This includes presenting findings to non-technical stakeholders and working with cross-functional teams to develop solutions to complex problems. Now we look at how to master data science. Step 1 is learning the basics. The first step to mastering data science is to learn the basics. This includes learning programming languages such as Python or R, understanding statistics and probability, and learning how to work with databases. So the first step is programming languages. Python is one of the most popular programming languages for data science. It has a large and active community and a wide range of libraries and frameworks and is easy to learn. Some of the key libraries for data science in Python include NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Scikit-learn. Next is R. R is another popular programming language for data science, particularly for statistical computing and graphics. It has a rich ecosystem of packages and tools for data analysis and visualization and is widely used in academic and research settings. Next, we have SQL. SQL is a language used for managing and querying data in relational databases. It is an important skill for data scientists as many data sets are stored in relational databases. SQL is relatively easy to learn and is widely used in the industry. Next is statistics and probability. Statistics and probability are foundational concepts in data science. Descriptive statistics involves summarizing and visualizing data using measures such as mean, median, mode, variance, and standard deviation. Inferential statistics involves making inferences and predictions about a population based on a sample of data. Probability theory is also an important concept in data science as it provides a framework for dealing with uncertainty and randomness. Key concepts in probability theory include probability distributions, conditional probability, and Bayes' theorem. Next is databases. Databases are used to store and manage large amounts of structured data. SQL is a language used for managing and querying data in relational databases, which are the most common type of databases. NoSQL databases such as MongoDB and Cassandra are used for storing unstructured or semi-structured data and are often used in big data applications. Big data and distributed databases such as Hadoop and Spark are used for storing and processing large amounts of data across multiple nodes in a cluster. These technologies are becoming increasingly important as the volume of data generated by organizations continues to grow. Step 2 is working on real-world projects. Once you have learned the basics, the next step is to work on real-world projects. This will help you apply what you have learned and gain practical experience. There are many websites that offer data sets for projects such as Kaggle, UCI Machine Learning Repository, and Data.gov. You can also work on projects for non-profit organizations or volunteer for data science projects. This will not only give you practical experience, but will also help you build your portfolio. Data sets and sources. There are many sources of data sets that can be used for data science projects. Kaggle is a popular platform that hosts a large collection of data sets and also hosts data science competitions. The UCI Machine Learning Repository is another popular source of data for machine learning projects. Data.gov is a government-run portal that provides access to a wide range of public data sets. Open data portals maintained by governments, universities, and other organizations are also good sources of data sets. These portals provide access to data sets on a variety of topics such as healthcare, education, and transportation. Second is types of projects. There are many types of projects that can be done in data science. Classification and prediction projects involve using data to predict an outcome or classify an observation into a category. Clustering and segmentation projects involve grouping similar observations together based on their attributes. Regression analysis projects involve modeling the relationship between a dependent variable and one or more independent variables. Time series analysis projects involve analyzing data that is collected over time such as stock prices or weather data. Natural language processing projects involve analyzing text data such as sentiment analysis or text classification.
Third is project life cycle. The data science project life cycle typically involves several stages including problem formulation, data collection and pre-processing, exploratory data analysis, feature engineering, model building and evaluation, and deployment and maintenance. Problem formulation involves identifying the problem to be solved and formulating a clear research question. Data collection and pre-processing involve acquiring and cleaning the data to be used in the project. Exploratory data analysis involves visualizing and summarizing the data to gain insights and identify patterns. Feature engineering involves selecting and creating relevant features that can be used as input to a machine learning model. Model building and evaluation involves selecting an appropriate machine learning algorithm, training the model on the data, and evaluating its performance on a test set. Deployment and maintenance involve integrating the model into a production environment and continuously monitoring its performance. Moving on to step three, specialize in a domain. Data science is used in many domains such as healthcare, finance, marketing, and sports. Specializing in a domain can help you gain domain-specific knowledge and become an expert in that field. For example, if you are interested in healthcare, you can learn about electronic health records, clinical trials, and healthcare analytics. This will help you understand the data better and make more informed decisions. First, industry-specific knowledge. Developing domain-specific knowledge is essential for data scientists who work in particular industries such as healthcare, finance, or marketing. This involves understanding the business context and relevant regulations, as well as the specific data sources, data types, and data quality issues that are common in the industry. For example, a data scientist working in healthcare might need to be familiar with electronic health records, medical terminology, and HIPAA regulations. A data scientist working in finance might need to be familiar with financial data sources, financial models, and regulatory requirements. Second is subject-specific knowledge. Subject-specific knowledge refers to expertise in a particular area of study such as biology, economics, or social science. This can be particularly valuable for data scientists who work on interdisciplinary projects or who collaborate with experts in other fields. For example, a data scientist working on a project involving gene expression data might need to be familiar with molecular biology and genetics. A data scientist working on a project involving social media data might need to be familiar with sociology and psychology. Third is soft skills. Soft skills are essential for data scientists who work in collaborative environments or who interact with stakeholders such as business leaders or clients. Soft skills include communication skills, teamwork skills, problem solving skills, and project management skills. Effective communication skills are important for data scientists who need to explain complex technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders. Teamwork skills are important for data scientists who work in interdisciplinary teams or who collaborate with experts in other fields. Problem solving skills and project management skills are important for data scientists who need to manage complex projects and navigate ambiguity. Step 4 is staying up to date with latest trends and technologies. Starting with continuing education. Continuing education is essential for data scientists who want to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies. This can include attending conferences and workshops, taking online courses or certifications, and reading relevant books and publications. Second is emerging technologies. Emerging technologies are constantly changing the data science landscape. Some of the emerging technologies that are currently being used in data science include deep learning, natural language processing, and blockchain. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves training neural networks with multiple layers. It has been used for applications such as image recognition and natural language processing. Natural language processing involves analyzing and understanding human language and has applications in areas such as chatbots, sentiment analysis, and text classification. Blockchain is a distributed ledger technology that allows for secure and transparent transactions. It has applications in areas such as finance, healthcare, and supply chain management. Third is ethical and social implications. Data science has ethical and social implications that data scientists should be aware of. Ethical issues in data science include privacy bias and transparency. Social implications include the potential impact of data science on society and the workforce. 
Data scientists should be aware of best practices for handling sensitive data such as de-identification and encryption. They should also be aware of potential biases in data and algorithms and take steps to mitigate them. Transparency in data science involves being transparent about the data sources and methods used in data science projects. Data scientists should also be aware of the potential impact of data science on society and the workforce. For example, data science can be used to improve healthcare outcomes, but it can also perpetuate existing health disparities if data is biased or incomplete. Similarly, data science can automate certain tasks, but it can also lead to job displacement if not managed responsibly. The final step is building a portfolio. Starting with personal projects, Building a portfolio is an important step for data scientists who want to demonstrate their skills and expertise to potential employers. A portfolio can include personal projects that showcase the data scientist's ability to solve complex problems and work with real-world data. Personal projects can involve working with public data sets or collecting and analyzing data on a topic of interest. For example, a data scientist interested in environmental issues might collect and analyze data on air quality or carbon emissions. Second is Kaggle competitions. Kaggle is a popular platform for data scientists to participate in competitions and showcase their skills. Kaggle competitions involve solving real-world problems using data and machine learning algorithms. Participating in Kaggle competitions can help data scientists improve their skills and gain recognition in the data science community. Kaggle also provides an opportunity for data scientists to collaborate with others and learn from their peers. Finally, open source contributions. Contributing to an open source project is another way for data scientists to show their skills and expertise. Open source projects involve collaborating with others to develop and maintain software or data resources that are available to the public. Contributing to open source projects can help data scientists improve their coding skills and gain exposure to new technologies. It can also demonstrate their ability to work collaboratively and contribute to the data science community. Now we'll look at what is the demand for data science professionals. The demand for data science professionals is high and continues to grow rapidly. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of computer and information research scientists, which includes data scientists, is projected to grow 19% from 2020 to 2030, much faster than the average for all occupations. This growth is driven by the increasing use of data in organizations across all industries from healthcare and finance to retail and manufacturing. This is indicative of the growing importance of data-driven decision-making in organizations of all sizes. Overall, the demand for data science professionals is high and is projected to continue growing in the coming years. This presents a significant opportunity for individuals with skills and expertise in data science to pursue rewarding and impactful careers. In conclusion, mastering data science involves a combination of technical and non-technical skills and domain-specific knowledge and staying up to date with the latest trends and technologies, building a portfolio of personal projects, participating in Kaggle competitions, and contributing to open source projects can help data scientists demonstrate their skills and expertise to potential employers. As data science continues to evolve, it is important for data scientists to remain flexible and adaptable in order to stay at the forefront of this rapidly changing field. With that, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPact has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost-effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.